Coast Guard has located the debris field from the missing Titanic tour submersible, confirming the deaths of five people aboard that the, vessel. The submersible is believed to have imploded. Douglas Ader reports on the continuing investigation. Although the search for the Titan submersible is now over, there are lingering questions about what caused this catastrophic implosion and the timeline of the search. While some search crews spent days looking for the missing Titan submersible from the air, the destruction of the Titanic-bound vessel may actually have been overheard deep underwater. The U.S. Navy now confirms that its sensors picked up what it calls an anomaly consistent with an implosion or explosion in the general vicinity of where the Titan submersible was operating when communications were lost. For decades, the Navy has maintained a network of sonar sites to detect the movement of submarines. It shouldn't come as a surprise that, that an implosion or an explosion, the same kind of dynamic there, would be picked up by these extraordinarily sensitive sensors that are listening for the quietest creations invented by man. A remotely operated submersible later found pieces of Titan strewn on the ocean floor near the Titanic. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Upon this determination, we immediately notified the families. The five men on board were all killed, including the CEO of OceanGate, which designed and operated Titan, offering paying passengers the chance to visit the Titanic wreck site. The company's operating standards are now being closely examined, and the search timeline is also in question. The Navy quietly notified the Coast Guard about the implosion sound, but much of the search effort seemed to concentrate on banging noises that were later detected, now believed to be unrelated to Titan. The Navy, though, stresses that the sound it overheard was not definitive, and the Coast Guard calls this an incredibly complicated case. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.